Hi guys, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel Lila Web Dev. In this video, we will try to design custom structural directives in the Angular. So a custom structural directive in Angular is a powerful tool that allows you to manipulate the DOM structure based on the specific conditions. It provides a, it provides a way to conditionally add, remove or rearrange the elements in your template, enhancing the flexibility and reusability of your Angular applications. So what are the key characteristics of this custom uh, custom structural directive is the first one is the DOM, manipula DOM manipulation, conditional rendering and also the custom logic. So let's try to see some real time examples for this one. So I will try to tell you three or four examples in this video so that you can able to understand the from easy to the complex thing. First one what I will try to do, do it is so I will create a new directive there is nothing but here I will, let me clear it off. Yeah. I will create a uh, new directive there is nothing but nggd so there is nothing but ng generate directive and I am using has permission something like has permission so something like if conditions on like that you can assume now for example let's say that I am creating like this <clears throat> let's try to see so now it will create a directive let's see the example for this one so directive has been created let's go to the has permission directive and this is the directive we are having so a a class we can mention it as a directive here we are having app has permission this is the directive name and a standalone true so now if you are trying to have a custom structural directive means so you need to import two things one is the private template ref okay so template ref this should be template ref of any so you can tell it as an any i will try to explain you what we need to provide in that one any also so just for the timing you can understand so now here we will be having view container it should be something like view container ref okay so that's it so now let's say that so you need to have an app permission so for this one let's go to the app.component.ts file so in this one let's import the has permission directive has permission directive and now here i will be having a simple example in a such a way that um, let's go to the app.component.html file and here I will remove this entire thing. So here I will have a so for the custom section right to you can use app has permission. So like star you can provide it and I can send something like admin. If it is admin means then I will try to show. So this is the admin. Okay, so like this. So now I need to show this due based on the dependency. Now here, so if it is an admin means then I need to show this one. So how can I show this? So for this one. Let's say that we we are sending some input variable, right? So the app permission has admin. So let's capture that input variable. Here I will be capturing that input variable. Input app has permission. So the name will be the same thing. So the same whatever the directive name you are using, the same thing. And here it is of type string. Okay. So you will be getting the value as string. And now here on ng on init. So ng on init. In the ng on init. So here I will try to check the permission constant has permission. So whichever the name you want, you can keep it. So here this dat has app has permission is equal to is equal to admin. I am checking that whether it is true or not. So if has permission is there means then what I want to do. So I want to show the container. So now here I can use view container dot create embed view. So now I am creating the embed view and I am inserting the template into that one template. Right? That's it. So if it is not having permission means then I need to clear the container this dot view container dot clear that's it. So now if you try to see the output here this is the admin now we are able to see the output. Now if I try to keep other than admin something like this means then you will not able to see the output for this one. So this is a simple custom structural directive which I want try to try to explain you. So here I am trying to use this ng on in it. So another example which I want to explain you is the. Uh, what I can say is dynamic list. So if you want to display a dynamic list or something like that. So how can you display this one? So let's say that um, dynamic list. So I will be creating a dynamic list ng generate directive dynamic list dynamic list. So just simple examples I will try to explain to you. Then afterwards we can learn some complex examples. So here I am creating a simple directive ng generate directive dynamic list let it create so here the dy dynamic list directive has been created let's go to the dynamic 
list directive so this is the dynamic list directive in the same and the same as usual so you will be importing the template ref template ref of template ref of any you can use the any and we will be having another one is the private view container so we will be having a view container of view container ref that's it so these two are the things so i will try to explain you those all things also so now we will uh, let's go to the app component.ts file let's assume that uh, we will be having something like uh, uh, let's say that uh, items i will be having some items is equal to it's an array and here i will be having name is equal to leela and another one is something like name is equal to angular so these two are the things which we will be having so this is the i want to repeat this one so here i can go into this one so here i will be providing div star let's try to import this dynamic list directive so dynamic list directive so i need to import this one so now here i can use something like star app dynamic list directive so here i need to provide the items okay and here i need to have the item dot name so i will try to show you the another concept also so now here we will be having the concept so let's try to go to the item list dot directive so here we are having the issue right so now let's try to get the input variable so that means so here i will be getting at the rate input okay and here you will be having app dynamic list so list of any so i am i am keeping it as an any of directive something like this why because so we will be having a object of area of object like that right so now here on ng on init ng on init first what i will do is i will try to clear the container view container ref dot clear and next what i will do is for constant item of this dot app dynamic list i am looping over each one so here i will try to create the context for this one so constant context is equal to so you can provide whatever the thing you want you can uh, have it so uh, that, that's up to you so let's say that you are having implicit so whichever it may be so let's say that uh, dollar item okay is equal to item so this is the thing which i want to provide it now here what i will try to do is this dot view container ref view container dot create embed view sorry create embed view of and here i need to provide this dot template ref and we need to pass the context here so i will be passing the context so that context you will be using it in the here directly something like here dollar item dot name directly you can use it sorry so here dollar item dot name directly you can use it without any problem dollar item doesn't exist it is saying so let's go to the app component otherwise sorry implicit you need to give a what i didn't remember exactly so here i can provide in a such a way that dollar implicit dot name so here we are we are implementing this item dot uh, item right so here you can use whatever the name you want so this one is where you will be using it is if you are trying to use the ng for loop so here you will be having something like let i is equal to dollar index like that right in the same scenario you can use item is equal to dollar item you can use it and here you can write in such a way that item dot name that's it now if you try to see here you'll be able to see the output lila and the angle so this is how you will be able to use the create the custom structural directives so that is that is how this is these are the basic custom structural directives which we can create it and in the next video what i will try to do it is i will try to show you some complex examples some complex examples which we can do it using the um, custom structural directives then of course we can learn about the custom structural directives type guards also what are the type guards we will be using it hope you understood about this basic creation of the custom structural directives Hope you understood about this concept. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.